and I got another topic video for the chat. I'm on Twitter and I see somebody say Ant was 18 and she was 30 when they got together. I don't care what anyone says. That is not right. Big topic. Age gap topic. Y'all know I'm here to always transmute a lot of the stuff that goes on. I think sometimes we have misunderstanding because of words. The words we're already using. Language, age, time, what people think about. You know, people use these words all the time to justify whatever they're feeling inside by seeing the image of people. Y'all see how I'm at the kind of like the beginning, the way I'm talking? He's seeing an image of people. See how I'm separating and I'm separate. You're just seeing the image of a male and a female together. He's seeing the image of a man and a female. Then he's knowing a knowledge that he learned. Age. Time. He learned that from somebody else. And he's using that. You see how I'm putting it all together now? Now, let me break down the, the knowledge behind it. He's legal at that point. Society made it to where it's like, oh, that's too much of an age gap. In life, there's people who are the same age couples. They crash out. One person takes this person out. That person's gone forever because mentally they couldn't get together. I believe in, honestly, I give you guys this gem. You're free to think how you want, believe what you want. But I believe that there's spiritual age internal age I say spiritual age because that's the actual word in the dictionary we could use it referring to internal internal age right everyone's different mentally in the mind some people get with a person they be around the same age but mentally the person too young I tell people relationships is not just about <coughs> damn <coughs> relationships is not just about age and oh this and that it's con connections is really the most important thing. That's that's what that's what we do. Connecting. So sometimes connections could have been strong. People are feeling like she groomed him. Let's look at these pictures and see if we He's smiling, leaning on her. You know. Y'all don't believe in mental age. Like it's kind of weird too when you look at dudes like this. And it's like twenty two, but it's like dudes like this be kind of like looking like they older. Like I don't know. I don't know what it is. No, if it's because he's an NBA, I'm not sure. But body-wise, growth-wise, sometimes I look at things a little deeper, man. Sometimes age can think about this, y'all. Like there be people that they 20s, they already like a grow. They already got similar to an old man body just because how they took care of their health, even how they look. They be in their mid 20s and looking like old, looking like old people. You don't believe in age, how y'all think? Like nobody knows the time you go out. You don't know the exact time and date. Okay, yeah, that date because I've been taking care of my body so long and my health progress shows me this is the day I'll go in my life because I've been taking care. Nobody knows that. You need to see what I'm saying? So I so I kind of think it's I, not even it's thinking. Just based off of what I've learned in my research, if I'm giving my own knowledge, mental age is very important. Some people grow up faster than others depending on environment. And I feel like if you're growing faster in the mind, you're growing faster in the body in a way too, in a sense, because your body goes under a certain amount of stress. Like we have to realize like these things are processes that goes on with us too. Some things are deep and we just like kind of on autopilot, just living. But if they really have a connection, the age gap don't really matter. You have to fight off the negative demon thoughts. That's what I call them. Oh, he's young. He may want to be with more girls. Da -da 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 or uh she's old she just wants some money what does she want to do with him the gap so far away what could they have in common see everybody bases everything off of age instead of connection connection is separate from age and yes we have the guidelines like yeah once a girl too young you know you shouldn't be once ages are too young but once it's legal this is just the demon battles people are fighting and people have to realize this he's legal it's just people have these thoughts. Oh, yeah, she's trying to prey on him, yo. She's too young. He knows he wants to live his life because people are just cheaters. The world's naturally 75% cheaters. I feel like it's like... No, 5% not cheaters. 
75% rush shooters. And the reason why I say that is because people can't control their lower instincts, their desires, then the way how they look at life. If they if they live the YOLO mindset and have a YOLO mindset, you only live once mindset, oh yeah, those are the people you gotta watch out for because their selfish desires will overturn them. And man, it's a lot of deep knowledge out here people don't get into, but trust me, some dudes, some people naturally just based on their personality and energy, they don't even be wanting to have sex unless it's truly the right person that entices them a certain way that they know with their selves. And, and sometimes they can miss out on life too. And But it's things people know, you know what I'm saying? So everything ain't what it seems to be. People are just trying to use the age 18. Let's see what they're saying. The double standards is always in their favor. So I guess... It's where his, he's like that. He's saying that too. He's feeling like um, double standards. I just feel like it's you let people go on their experience. Everything's an experience, a journey for people. You know, everything is something you never know. You never know. It is a gap where it's like, damn. You know, she's going to be a little older, older, but yo, you never know. She probably got the right yada yada for him and if he's choosing that you know usually men know what they want like but then they're saying there's a bbl i'm seeing he knew how old she was that's what he liked mind your business yeah some guys want a grown girl because just the experience like this is a real gem i give out like that was always a thing it's just certain guys maybe didn't have the confidence but that was always a thing if a guy had the confidence to go and speak to an older girl or be able to get her or she want he gonna do it most times because of the experience when you deal with the girls your age and stuff there comes a point where guys get to a, a smarter like even if they don't notice and they realize like subconsciously they know this girl not gonna fulfill a this deed for them or that based off of just how they talk and how they communicate and how they act and or how they react and respond to them and they make their decision in their mind about the girl you know still may keep the girl around but it'd be situations like that all the time trust me it's like guys per honestly will rather once they get to the clear point you would rather a girl with <clears throat> more experience why do we say that is because like you get the girls that are fresh and new Guys has got insecurities too. I'm gonna keep it on with y'all. The guys have insecurity. They look at that, they'll think in their mind like, damn, she maybe she wanna go out and experience something new and stuff like that. But if a girl already had her course, it's like you know she for you. And some men be the type of men, I'm that type of guy where you only want that girl to be just for you. And it could be that same type of guy. You only want that one girl to be just for you. And so many girls be so flip floppy here and there, da da da. Don't forget that exists for males too as well. So you never know she could probably could have gave him a certain amount of security that he needed all that you never know he playing the game and she's sitting there next to him making tiktoks if y'all seen the video most females be tripping if they met like look if you want a game <clears throat> most females be tripping like they be tripping out you on the game and stuff and they they make it a big deep problem or but you know you never know who knows let me get y'all take. You can't trust a big butt and a smile quote. BBD. Old school. Google it. Damn. And then 30 is not that. Like, trust me. Like, I'm 30. It's like some people still be young minded. Not a good one. Not even young minded. Young spiritually. That's what I mean. Like, they're not a older, older soul. You, that's why we use those words. Old soul. They're not. They still be in they can still tap into kid vibes and still do stuff and still have fun and be a little bit more free people to understand this once you get a little older it's a little different people try to act like you're you have to be more reserved this and that they stop living their life and start getting a little stale it'd be like that too given what happened to his mother and grandmother i could have kind of understand why he's dating an older woman oh yeah true i forgot i seen that that's definitely true people have to understand too that's natural traumas and stuff like not even to say that's a trauma, but I'm just saying that is trauma. You lost your people. That's trauma. What am I talking about? I gotta remember being my psychologist bag when I'm doing these videos, licensed psychiatrist, therapist bag, and not my <clears throat> worrying about what viewers may think, you know. But yes, that is, and a sense of an older woman can give off a motherly vibe. We love that, niggas. All men. I don't care what they're trying to say. All men love that. 
I don't know if some girls realize that. It's like, you know, when a man can give a girl maybe a confidence vibe or a security type of vibe and can be extra strong with it. Women have lost that trait to be able to give their um, feminine motherly vibe where the dude internal world kind of feel like good inside, you know? And it gotta be too for you too, cause that's your man and stuff like that. But when we say motherly vibe, it's like, nah, he don't want you to be his mama. It's like kind of more of a strong love vibe that's pushed out and felt and type of shit. Motherly is just the word we use, but it's not like he wants you to baby him be his mama. Some dudes want that too, but it's not even like that though, for real. It's just a girl that could be sweet and act like a girl and not really jump into that man energy. You could tell it's a different energy on the outside of you. Like, yeah, she a female, even though she mad or whatever. She hear me. She's still acting like, you know, it's a dude. You could tell when a girl, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Those standards, it does, it does. I love it. That's all that matters. All right, yeah, I agree. If you're five or more years older than a teen, leave them alone. Your life experience is vastly different. That does not matter, yo. Life experience is infinite. This is what I mean. People's minds are trapped in a box just based off of, like, them not getting out in the world, not living. Like, yo, you know how much couples, like, <clears throat> don't click around the same age? Like, it's not all about that. It's this is it's miss and match all over. Like, you would go through an uh, infinite amount. If you had to write down so many different couples, they, oh, these person is, trust me, bro. People be wasting brain power doing this. Like couples like this is always going to pair up together because it's based on the internal, the spirit. That's how I put it. For example, she's 30, but let's say she's like goofy and wants to play video games too or something like, ooh, still at 30. There's people that still in energy like that and they're serious. They're not trolling or faking it. And she's matches ants energy. You know, get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I get that. Everybody ain't straight up. You've seen different personality traits where you've seen a guy more sh stern and serious. And you can be like, hey, Unc, how's it going? And he's a little bit more like... People will call you Unc based off your age, but some people can give a Unc vibe. Like, they can give that energy if you get... If y'all get what I'm saying, it's like a... Yeah, that's Uncle Leroy over there. Yeah, ah. You know, yeah, I get, I get what I'm saying. Like, trust me. So, please start paying attention to people's spirits more and not just age and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter. I gave so many gems. People that, they in their 20s, but they look old, move old, took care, they didn't take care of their body. So they're moving like an older person. While you got somebody that's older, more lifey and still young spirited, like please trust. Those are shit, that's shit going on inside of us, whether you want to think it or not. Cause some people be in straight depressed vibes and can't get out of it. So understand there's different worlds, even though you may not be into that, like in that world and living it know that you you can see somebody probably on social media and say i'm depressed and you're like you're not able to feel what they feel but you can hear what they're communicating so always know that all right y'all hit that like let me know what y'all think about this do y'all think it's right or wrong y'all think people should mind their business y'all think it's like nah she about to finesse and come up with that bag you know and young you think aunt not gonna be able to hold it in his pants and just want to clap some other females because you in that NBA, you know he's still young yeah what y'all think I mean, all the greats, he looking like he about to be a great. All the greats, you know, slipped up. Michael, I think Michael Jordan, like, I don't know. Something happened with each of the greats. He always heard some little story. It was like, nobody went through clean but Braun. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, man. Y'all hit that like. I'll see y'all later.